The Fix constraint will anchor a sketch figure or node so it does not move. The Fix constraint will also override all previously applied dimensions or sketch constraints, but the original dimensions or sketches constraints will still show. Here's an example demonstrating two different ways the Fix constraint can affect a circle. This circle can freely move in the x and y directions and the diameter can also be changed. The Fix constraint is located here on the 2D sketching ribbon bar in the Constraints box. When the Fix constraint is applied to the circle, the circle becomes fully defined, meaning all degrees of freedom have been eliminated. Now neither the location nor size of the circle can be changed. When the Fix constraint is deleted, the circle is once again free to move. Note, when the Fix constraint is applied to the node of the circle, the circle's location is fixed, but the diameter can be changed. In this example, a circle is created and its location defined by dimensions. When one of these dimensions is changed, the circle's location changes accordingly. Now a fix constraint is applied to the edge of the circle. The dimensions are still there, but when one of the dimensions is changed, there's no effect on the circle, and an error message appears. Normally, changing a dimension's value will alter the object it is describing. In this case, the circle is fully defined by the fixed constraint, which prevents the circle from complying with the dimension change, hence the error message. In summary, the fixed sketch constraint will anchor a sketch figure or node so it does not move, and will override all previously applied dimensions and sketch constraints, even though the original dimensions or sketches constraints are still visible.